What's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. And if you're old, thank you for rocking with me for another week. Today we are doing all things summer essentials for your wardrobe. So summer is here. We've been complaining about the cold weather for so long and we finally have hot, hot, scorching weather. And though we're not all going outside and resuming all the normal things that we would do, we are allowed to go outside and do a little bit more. So let's get your wardrobe and my wardrobe ready for summer. So first on my list is tank tops. Whether it's the thick strap ones, spaghetti straps, or this racer front, racer back type of style, we need tank tops. And why? Because tank tops don't have sleeves, and with the hot, hot heat, and where I am in Toronto now, the humidity is on 100. I need circulation under my arms. And although, you know, you can still sweat up your tank top, the likelihood of it is less. So I need the most circulation I can. Plus, tank tops are super chic, especially the plain neutral color ones. You can dress them down, a pair of jeans, shorts, you can dress them up, nice pair of pants, skirt. You can do the most with them. They are a basic staple to your wardrobe. Number two, the party top. What is a party top? A party top, I think, is something that you can take, you can wear in the day, but you can also wear into the night, and it is a little bit fancier than the, mo the rest of your wardrobe. So a party top wouldn't be your regular plain top it would have a quirk about it whether it's like an open back or in my case an open front and long sleeve so it's not so overly fancy but fancy enough that you're making a statement with an, your outfit to go to an event and so here i'm wearing my party top with a pair of jeans and some heels and so it is a very basic look but it is elevated because you have the party factor okay three beach to street and this is so so important to me Everybody needs a one-piece swimsuit because I think dressing from going to the or the pool or the beach or laying out and tanning with your friends, a lot of those times we end up moving to, you know, like going to Starbucks or going to the patio or to eat or something. And people don't dress, people don't plan for that. Um, so you end up wearing your bikini and then having to like put a big t-shirt on top and it just never looks put together. I think having a good one-piece suit that you can wear a cute pair of shorts or a pair of pants or a skirt with is so essential. And plus, if you do it in reverse, if you're planning on going to like on a boat, you want to be on the boat for a little bit before you jump into the water. You don't want to carry a change of clothes. Um, a one-piece suit is perfect for that because you, it's a part of your outfit and then you just have to take off your bottom. So absolutely an essential to your wardrobe. Okay, number four is a button-up top. Button-up, more long sleeve top. I like them oversized. So essential to your summer wardrobe because you can do so much with it. I would suggest getting a lighter material like a linen or a cotton. Here I'm wearing like a satiny one. Um, you can wear it with the buttons up with a nice pair of shorts or jeans or pants. You can wear it open so you have the V in the front, which is super sexy so you can wear it in the evening. Um, or you can wear it as a cover-up your, for your bikini. Super chic, super cute. Okay, moving on to dresses, or is it really a summer's essentialist if you don't have florals? And I'm not huge on patterns, especially florals, but for summer, you just kind of have to. Uh, so I prefer a mini dress, uh, like a floral dress in mini style, um, because I think for me, I can wear that in the day and in the night. Um, in the day, I can wear this mini dress with a pair of sneakers. In the night, I can pop on some heels and it's perfect for a date night or you know, the club once we're allowed to go. Okay, next up is the slip dress. And I think the slip dress transcends through all seasons, but it's so important in the summertime because it's super light, so it's airy and it's perfect. This slip dress is just probably one of the best dresses ever. It fits everybody. It falls perfectly on your body and just hugs the right curves. It hides, if you get the right material, it hides, you know, your, your food baby. Um, so it's just a perfect dress. And the summertime, in the summertime, we're doing so much, you know, attending graduations, baby showers that are outside, uh, weddings and evening events, meeting the parents, things like there's so much to do. And a slip dress can be dressed up so you always look classy and put together. So it ticks off all the boxes for all of those events, but can also be dressed down to wear with flip-flops or um, sneakers and it'd be okay too. So it's such a versatile piece. I think it's just a staple for your wardrobe. Next up is the maxi dress. And maxi dress had to be on my list because 
This is only, this is one of the only seasons, or really the only one, I don't wear maxi dresses in spring. Um, this is the only season you can wear a maxi dress. Uh, I just think it's, it's an easy piece. You know, it's long enough to kind of keep your legs warm. It's flowy. I just, I just like the flowiness of a maxi dress. Uh, it's airy and, and there's just so many styles for it. So yeah, I, I put, I'm putting the maxi dress on this list for no more other reason than the fact that I love it and that it's the only reason, or the only season that you can wear this. So it's on there. Okay, next up, pants. So first and foremost, flowy pants. Flowy pants because I'm a pant gal and flowy pants are my top favorite thing. They're so airy, they're so comfortable. It's like wearing pajamas outside. It is amazing. And I feel that I could do a lot of fun stuff with it. You know, if you do bold colors and such. Here I'm wearing a burnt orange flowy type of pleated trouser. And you can do so much with it. Like I'm wearing it with black top um, and I can wear it with flats, but I can also change the top to something white and it'll be more daytime. The black one was a little more nighttime and it's just a perfect piece. And I like walking down the street in my flowy pants because you get that big fan thing, you know? when you kick your legs, I'm just childish, I guess. But I love them, I love them. Okay, next up is a summer suit. And I think this is just so, so underrated. Not enough people do summer suits. Everyone needs one. One, because you can wear them as separates. You can wear the shorts with a plain tank top or t-shirt. And then you can wear the, the blazer with anything else. Uh, I would suggest getting a linen summer suit because it's lighter. Uh, but I think it's just the chicest possible look you can do. You can wear it with flats or like a short heel, but I mean, you can wear it with flats and that's my favorite. I like to be comfortable in the summer because it's hot. Um, so flats or sneakers and then it just looks so chic. So imagine this one I'm wearing right here, t-shirt and summer suit and rolling up to like a brunch with your girlfriend. Like everybody's going to be wearing their dresses and you're going to show up as this chic, crisp summer suit. And you know, you can take off a jacket if it gets too warm and you can put it back on. Just not enough people do it, so I think you should do it. And it's not a waste of money, like I said, you can wear it as separate. Okay, last for clothing item is white pants. And whether it's white denim or white linen pants or just whatever, white pants, you gotta do it. White pants are crisp, they're cool, they're chic, they're perfect for summertime and I mean, isn't there a rule where you only wear white, which I don't adhere to. You only wear white between like Memorial Day and Labor Day, but so it is white pants are for the summer, so it could not be on the list. Next up is accessories. So first on my list of uh, accessories for summer is slides. Um, you can get super casual slides and dressy slides, but if you were to pick one between the two, I would suggest the dressier slide, like not too dressy, but um, you know, nice style, not like a Nike slide. Because you can take it to the beach, you can take it to a restaurant, you can you can dress it up and dress it down. Um, and it's just an easy shoe, you know, it's breathable, but it's not as plain and casual as like a thong sandal. So I think it's must like a very necessary shoe for summer because you can do a lot with it. Next up is strappy sandals, uh, and specifically the super thin strappy sandals. I just think that they're so, they make your look so sexy. And you know, summer is hot, so you don't wear a lot of clothes. It's like lighter or lighter clothes or shorter clothes. So I think a thin, barely there strappy sandal is just the perfect shoe to tie together your summer look. Up next is a mini bag. I mean, to touch on the last point that I made, summer is a time where you're wearing less, you're bringing out less. You don't have to bring a coat and stuff with you or a change of clothes like I do. Um, so it is a perfect time to rock that small bag. And maybe not something this small because you can, can't fit anything but like your thoughts. You're like one thought in here. Um, maybe something a little bit bigger, but, but this is the perfect time to carry a cute statement bag. So yes. And last but not least in my list of summer essentials is something that we talked about for spring essentials, but it's so necessary. The basket bag doubles as a beach bag. You can wear it with all your looks because it's such a neutral color. It is just absolutely needed. It goes with everything, really. It goes with everything. You can't put on a basket bag. Unless you're wearing a pull gown, you can wear a basket bag with basically anything. So you need it. They're so cute. You can get like super affordable ones that are plain and super cute in various sizes. You can do designer ones now. Designers are doing all of the crazy 
um, basket bags. I have a Loewe one that I'm obsessed with. I saw a Prada do one. It's just sky's the limit, basically. But you need basket bags. Do it. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks for your summer wardrobe. Let me know in the comments below if you have some more suggestions for me for my summer wardrobe. And I'll see you guys next time.